Hey guys, it's Frankie here from Get Flood Jobs. In this video, I want to simplify how you can get your restoration company in front of the, the legions of people who are going to Google and looking for restoration companies for the kinds of things that you do. And this is not just about getting a number one ranking, but more like hundreds of little number one rankings that, you know, all kinds of different ways actually drive traffic from people who have water damage or fire damage or mold or whatever it is that you do. Um, to, to illustrate this, I started with a search for water damage restoration. And uh, so the, the first uh, four that come up are paid ads. And in my case, sometimes there's a paid ad in the map listing. But these are the organic ones. Statistically, um, about 15, 20% of people, depending on your market, will actually click paid ads. The vast majority of people are going to go here. So th these are actually, by the way, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this. We just had a, a client start two months ago with our SEO, and he had none of these uh, two months ago. And this is in a major city in Texas where there's a lot of competition. And uh, as you can see, like what kind of shows up here when I say number one, we're talking here, two, three, and then when anything four or above are these organic listings below. And uh, this is staggered one mile apart in what's known as a geo grid, basically because depending on where the person searches, they'll see different results. So this is what it looks like. They, they got a lot of number ones, some number twos, number threes, number fours. Obviously we're still working on that. It's only two months in, but uh, you know, it's starting to work in a big, big way. And we're starting to get phone calls. So I wanna show you guys how to do that. If you are a brand new restoration company, you're probably gonna wanna do this yourself. Uh, if you're more established, you're probably gonna wanna pay somebody to do this. Either way, I wanna show you what the process is because it's super, super powerful. And it starts with understanding. I'm going to show you guys uh, an artificial intelligence tool in just a second called ChatGPT. You may be familiar with it. Uh, a lot of people aren't. Um, but it starts with understanding, like, if you really understand what Google is, um, it's a big question and answer machine. So somebody types in water damage restoration Atlanta. They're looking for something. And by the way, just sometimes changing one word, if I just change that to, like, company, um, we'll get different search results in different order. And if I change that to the word companies, so those are just like three, the reason I show you that, those are three different ways people are searching for you, all with the same basic in, intention. They need a water damage restoration company. But, um, and the trick to this is is really understanding the, the whole keyword spectrum people use. And if you think about Google as a question and answer machine, the people who get the best rankings have the most and best answers. Like they're actually giving away the most value in their space. So you want to be that person. And I want to show you how to do that way more easily than that probably seems is because we're going to be the best answer for hundreds and hundreds of different questions and variations. So step one, by the way, uh, I did a little bit of this legwork before the video because I didn't want you guys to just stand over here and have to watch it. But I started with, I told chat GPT, Hey, we're a restoration company that offers water damage, fire damage, and mold services, as a lot of you guys will do. And then it said, cool, basically, I'm summarizing there. But And then I said, can you suggest a list of three to the five co most commonly asked questions for each of these services? Remember, Google's a big question and answer machine. What do people do with water problems or fire problems? You know, who should I call? What should I do? Those kind of things. So uh, I had them create a table. And for uh, chat, GPT screwed up a little bit on the table here. But the gist of it is there. Um, Give me like five questions people are asking about water damage. What should I do? How long does it take? Does my insurance cover it? Um, how can you help with the mold? Do I need a restoration company, right? So if, if we want to get and maintain long-term rankings, we want to have the best answer in our marketplace for each of those five questions. But it gets trickier because people will often combine these with an area, right? Like I searched Atlanta, but if we if we pull up a map of Atlanta, there's probably like, 50 different suburbs we could have searched that so let's let's actually pick an uh, example i've been to atlanta a few times but i'm not familiar with all the suburbs so here's one that says midtown so um if somebody just searches water damage restoration midtown georgia we're gonna get different search results right amazing right like we see these ones show up in midtown if we did the same thing in decatur or north decatur or scottdale or north druid hills it, we get all these different variations so we want to have answers for all of those now i know that sounds like a lot of work so i want to show you that uh artificial intelligence has made that a lot easier so to uh, I, I also did the same thing for fire and mold because i know a lot of you guys uh you know they're probably the three most common ones i see um but how do you assess the the, the damage what's the timeline for fixing it are there health risks uh, can you help with smoke and the smells? 
Um, what documents are needed? How do I do the insurance claim, right? Like you want to have the most and best answers for all of these things. So then I added a, a, a section here for related concepts. And I want you to think about each of these things as an individual question that somebody is going to put into your area. And if you combine that with geography, you can essentially dominate your market by having the most and best answers. What should I do immediately after discovering water damage in my Midtown home, in my Atlanta home, in my North Decatur, in my Scottsdale, and some of those other places? Like th those are just five, six posts that we could write about and give people like valuable information, helpful information as blog posts, or put them onto our Google My Business listing or Google Business Place, as some of you guys call. Uh, I'm old. I still call it a Google Map listing. Been doing this 16 years, and so it's changed names like six times. But I'm, I'm one of those like I call it by the old name. I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but uh, if you if you grew up near a, a stadium and then the stadium gets rebranded, you, you like it takes you 10, 20 years to not call it the old name. So what I want to show you guys is how easy it is to actually create content. So let's pick one of these. Let's pretend we're in Atlanta. This would apply for wherever you're. Uh, restoration company is. So what should I do immediately after discovering water damage? Let's just say to chat GPT, um, please help me. I like to say, please, I'm, I'm kind to my chat GPT. Please help me to write a 500 word blog post about what should I do immediately after water damage in my midtown home obviously this will help um you know specifically with uh, residential jobs because we're talking about a residential topic here so so let's just see the G chat gpt and just in a couple of things swift action what to do after discovering water damage in your midtown home so like we already have content safety first assess the risk identifying stopping the source document and take photos contact your insurance provider mitigation blah 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 and of course uh, this is just a framework. Obviously, like you want to still have a human take this and improve it and make sure it makes sense. But like, man, look like look how fast we just put out a piece of content. Now we could do the same thing. So I want to show you probably just like maybe two more of these. Um, so we get the gist of it. Let's do the same thing for fire damage. Um, let's do with uh, smoke, smoke odor removal. All right. So we're going to go back to chat GPT. And um, please help me, help me to write an article for help um, with smoke odor uh, removal and restoration in Atlanta. Let's capitalize that. Grammar is a lost art. Although I'm not one of those grammar Nazis, but kids today, they like, you almost have to sound them out. Um, anyways, so look at this. It's already starting cleaning the air, a guide to smoke odor removal and restoration in Atlanta, Atlanta, which is rich as history, blah, blah, blah. Like it already starts writing about smoke odor, ventilation, um, thorough cleaning of surfaces, HVAC system, cleaning, ozone treatment, consider professional restoration services. Um, Right here, by the way, we could just add in our name and our phone number and our contact info, maybe a photo or two of your before and after work. And like, we got something good that we could actually post on the internet that, you know, helps. And, and what happens is each of these is like a drip. So rather than thinking about like one big leak, think about it as a thousand leaking faucets. Each of these little pieces of content will bring people to you. And collectively what happens is if you do this consistently over time, uh, you know, like six to 12 months, ideally, what happens after a year, um, if you just do one of these a day, and as I've shown you, it can take like two minutes to do this, you'll have 300 of these, 400 of these things, 400, I look at it like inroads to a city for people to find you. So this is one of the things, by the way, that if you're an established uh, restoration company, you just want somebody to do this for you. Um, our company, by the way, is called Get Flood Jobs. And uh, um we do this kind of stuff for people. That's how we're able to uh, get them rankings. A typical average result, by the way, takes about four to eight months to really see it. Like you can see movement right away, but to like get all the way start to finish usually takes four to eight months where you start seeing your phone uh, ring, you know, 50, 100 times a month with restoration kind of inquiries. Uh, but you can check out our website, get flood jobs. You know, all our pricing and stuff is there. So nothing hidden. 
um, examples of our work, even though I've been probably meaning to update that for quite a while. But I wanted to uh, uh, also mention, if you're interested in this kind of stuff and you're interested in growing your restoration company, you want to dominate your online space, make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys later.